So I found this article online, wired.com, February 13, 2018, titled, When Modeling the Mississippi River, a Supercomputer Won't Do. The combined ports of South Louisiana and New Orleans move more cargo ton for ton than any other U.S. port. So figuring out the Mississippi's hydrodynamics, the way its water sorts and sand ebb and flow, matters. Matters so much, in fact, that Louisiana has dropped $18 million on a 10,800 square foot model of Big Muddy's sinuous meanders. It's made of 216 panels of high density foam, carved to match mapping data down to a quarter millimeter tolerance. Okay, so basically what they're saying is, you know, they spent $18 million on this project. It has to be accurate for any of the um, data to be, you know, usable, basically. It's made of 216 panels of high density foam carved to match mapping data down to a quarter millimeter tolerance. Sure, the Center for River Studies could have just simulated all of this in a supercomputer built from spreadsheets and algebra. And that's typically what happens nowadays in real life models of natural phenomena are the exception. But when can you watch in an hour how the river bottom could transform into the course of, say, a year and directly observe the potential effects on navigation? The impact is more immediate. We can bring out students, politicians and fishers who are tired of seeing PowerPoints or don't believe computer models, says civil engineer Clint Wilson. That'll teach people what they can and can't build and where, along a waterway critical to the US economy, but more and more subject to the severe effects of climate change. There again, just pushing the climate change agenda. So there you have it. The purpose of the Mississippi River physical model is to look at how we can utilize and manage the Mississippi River and its resource, not just for sediment diversions that will be used to combat land loss, but also to look at the impacts on navigation of these various strategies. Thirdly, look at maybe other flood control measures. The new Mississippi River physical model is not just going to cover more of the river. Instead of covering just about the lower 70 miles of the river, the new model is going to cover from the Sunshine Bridge and near Donaldsonville down to the Gulf of Mexico. Every year in the Mississippi River, things are slightly different. The flow rates might be different, the sediment coming down the river might be different. And in a laboratory, we're able to perform experiments that are very controlled and we can collect data that we can directly compare to each other. Louisiana has lost nearly 2,000 square miles of coastal land since the 1930s. That's a coastal crisis. The LSU Center for River Studies and its partnerships with agencies around the nation are tasked with solving this crisis. The Center for River Study has three primary objectives. The first is the research we're going to be able to do around the Mississippi River and other coastal rivers in the state. Number two is going to be the education and outreach. And then number three is really providing a collaborative space on the water campus so that visiting scientists, engineers, federal or state agency people can kind of utilize the center as a kind of a creative space around different restoration and protection strategies. Inside the center, you'll find educational exhibits and a state-of-the-art physical model. The idea of a physical model is to scale down the real-world system in a way that allows us to do controlled experiments in a certain size laboratory or space. But at the same time, you want to replicate as much as the physics of that system as you can. LSU students are even taking part in those experiments. You can actually visualize what's going on and in our science there's not much experiments because we deal with such large areas and this is a rare opportunity. To get some hands-on experience in a, in a river that's important not just to the state but to the nation and, and really around the world. It's just a fabulous opportunity for students. Those opportunities are because of the partnership between LSU and the Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority. CPRA's involvement was the primary uh, planner, designer, and funder of the whole effort. 
uh, dating back to the development of the model. We are going to be doing some very valuable research, both basic and applied research in terms of understanding the river, understanding the, the hydraulics of the river, but then really translating that into you know, actionable science and engineering that can, the state can use um, in addition to the work being done by other universities, by the Water Institute, by CPRA, in terms of figuring out how to use the river and its resources.